Hello. Hello! Hi, what's your name? Uh, James. James, lovely James. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a civil servant. A civil servant, lovely. In London here? Uh, yes, in London. And are you from the London area? Uh, no, I live in London, but I'm originally from um, Suffolk. Oh. oh! Oh! Yeah, mate. It's a Suffolk massive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he mentioned in the song? Probably, yeah. What, uh, what school did you go to? Um, so, <laughs> I went to Brandeston. Oh, sweet, yeah. Oh, I, I went to primary school. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we pro did we know each other? Yeah. Did we? <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses. Have a look. I'm not wearing my glasses. What do you say, James? Hello, yeah. James? Yes. Me? That's the one. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> do you do that? He was my best mate growing up. Yeah. You're kidding! <laughs> my best mate growing up. <laughs> and now you're talking to him on a monitor. I'm not. <laughs> Specs and he's like, Oh my god, the hell? can we not flip him and just get him out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 do you have a story or do you? Well, yeah, I did, but it's Please up to you. let it be about Ed. <laughs> it's about Ed. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. tell the story, then we'll flip you and then. I'm gonna sit with you. Uh, okay, you tell the story, tell the story. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, as, as Ed was this saying, this is when we so were... random, mate. This <laughs> yeah, is so random. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, yeah, when we were younger, Ed used to come around to my house and, yeah, like you're saying, we used to be quite good mates. Um, and I remember Best one mate. time, um, one time he was coming around for tea, um, and I'd forgotten to tell Mum, who was a vegetarian, um, at that point anyway. And um, so Mum cooked, I think, a sausage and mash for tea. Um, and Ed said, you know, after the meal, these are the best sausages I've ever tasted. You know, where did you get them from? And Mum had to lie, because she had no clue. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, so that, 16 that years later, I'm first really time, sorry. First time I ever had meat. And also the first time I ever watched a Simpsons episode was around your house yeah. as well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You now, and then uh, no, come we, we can be reunited backstage. Okay, okay. okay. No, no, put him on the couch. Oh, okay, okay. Here he goes. Here he goes. Uh, bring him up, bring him on. Who wants to meet him? This is, I feel like Silla Black on Surprise, Surprise. <laughs> Were you, were you just here randomly? Uh, Unless I'm not emailed. Have, have, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One of the things you can do is you can conjure up uh, people's fears. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So you, you're afraid of quite basic things. You I'm yourself. afraid of like most things. Like anything high risk, I'm terrified of. But, but those are rational fears. Okay, irrational is like spiders, because but they actually, um, I become paralyzed when I when I have a spider in my room. Really? Yeah, I like wish I were tougher than that, but I'm not. Okay. <laughs> now, Mark Ruffalo, were you serious when you told us what your fear is? I mean, it is a, it's a good fear. It's, I think it's a founded fear. I think it's a founded fear. It is. Tell us what it is. Um, I have a phobia of being chased around with poop on a stick. <laughs> Yeah, it's... I wouldn't say. I'd say we've all got that fear. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. no one that goes no up for that. It's... <laughs> it started when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was this weird it's parenting? <laughs> For some reason, kids thought it was funny to stick a stick in dog poop and chase each other around with it. <laughs> but that scared the crap out of me. Because of the cleanliness problem of it? Like no, because it's poop. Germs? <laughs> <laughs> it just does poop. Because it's afraid of sticks. <laughs> but now, Jeremy Renner, though, yours is brilliantly specific, and I think we it I, without it knowing it, I think we probably all share it. We, we may. I don't know. I, I didn't have the, the fear when I was younger because we've all we all go through this. But it's when uh, a little child and I'm the, I'm the oldest of seven kids and I got a lot of little rugrats running around and they, these little roaches start losing their teeth. And they get a little wiggly, and they like to show me like this little dagger flipping in and out of their mouth. And like, look, Uncle Jeremy, I want to pull this thing out. I'm like, I get out of here! You're freaking me out. <laughs> but don't you think that is really freaky? Are you? you see it's like I mean, her thumb. <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah. Yeah. again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 It just, it just really yeah. kind of grosses me out. The cutest little thing on the planet starts to do like the creepiest thing on the planet. And I'm like, get out of here. It's like, here, tie the string to my thing to the doorknob. I'm like, get out of here, creep. <laughs> disgusting <laughs> animal. <laughs> oh, you're at this stage. That's uh, now. Now! <laughs> now. <laughs> Running around, flipping their little fake their teeth <laughs> falling out. Look, we all have this, you know, when you're, you're, you have the dreams, your teeth fall out. I don't know what it means. Does anybody know what it means? We get bigger ones. 
<laughs> no, you had bad dreams. You had... Oh, Am I the only one that has bad no, dreams? No, really. A friend, of mine, a friend of mine just had that dream too. I just had just that a friend of yours? Night. Yeah, not me. What, what does that mean? I think that's I don't something know. to do I don't know. This is strange. Fear of money, I think. I think that's what the teeth Who has fear out. of money? <laughs> maybe I'm, maybe of I'm just anything. afraid of my teeth fucking falling out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Now, Josh, what are your fear? What are you afraid of? Well, I was gonna go with flying, but I think I'll go with, um... Girls shit. over 12? <laughs> <laughs> the last minute of my life, I wouldn't have predicted that. <laughs> How was it? Mark Ruffalo. You're not going to believe what he said to me. <laughs> he was bang on the money. <laughs> oh, He's a very oh, perceptive shit. man. Oh. <laughs> it was the Dora poem. <laughs> Don't try and justify it. <laughs> Do you know what? I've always hated the Hulk. He's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him angry. Yeah, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Ruffalo. That's what <laughs> I, my son said that to me the other day when he was mad at me. <laughs> oh, no. What, that you wouldn't like him? Anymore? I always hated the Hulk. I think he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you just told him that he was afraid of girls over 12. <laughs> <laughs> For him, that would be OK. <laughs> <laughs> he's a child. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, you were starting off in wrestling. You had a persona that, am I right, was sort of half man, half machine. Was that yes, the idea? Yes, that's correct. Yes. It this was, was a prototype. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you, uh, you want to try to find a persona, or here's some more inside baseball for it, a gimmick. Oh. Where is a, is it describes you as a character, so like when you walk out, people notice you, and they kind of, you can describe your character. But in... these are not gimmicks, these, this is real. Well, well, I mean, if they work. It's, yes. But... You kind of, it's, it's a it's trial and error process with a lot of errors. And, uh, and my first try was uh, the prototype, which was half man and half machine, and 100% crap. <laughs> but given that you're not half a machine, how did you demonstrate you were a machine? Well, I, I used this ability to talk rather monotone and would say things authoritative, and just when I said I would kick your ass at the fairgrounds on Sunday, I would rewind it and say it again for you. I would kick your ass at the fairgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work? <laughs> you... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. That's a good but, but, one. Yeah, but it, but, but it the... worked on one. I have one. Yeah. I'm in. You found but... huge success as John... Cena. Imagine that. I figure I need to come up with some sort of name. Yeah, look, every, doesn't every, every wrestler has a name? Yes, it? and people think that, like, hey, man, how'd you make up the name John Cena? I was like, no, dude, I would have made up, like, Dick Hammerbush or something cool like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dick Hammerbush. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> That's a star. <laughs> no one's moved from there. No one's letting you go out with that, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they actually think that John Cena is a, a gimmick name. But no, that's actually... <laughs> Through all the, the presentation that is WWE, I'm and, stuck and, with John. Are you a wrestling fan, Jamie? I used to love wrestling uh, when we were much younger, about the same time as Transformers. Back in the day, we had Big Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. The Giant Haystack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, I used to love it. I thought it was just fantastic. By the way, I'm John Cena. <laughs> all, these, all these awesome names. <laughs> you know, the ultimate drooler or, like, no, nothing. <laughs> And Drunk wrestlers it. like to have uh, signature moves and things. Yes. And one of yours is the, you can't see me. But That's that, correct. Is that true that came out of your family somehow? Yeah, I was, I was dared to do it. So I was actually making the music for my own theme song that you just so heard and finally serenaded me to. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and we played it for my brother. And the first time he heard it, this was uh, the, the uh, 50 Cent's crew uh, had a, a really popular song called In the Club. And he heard it the first time, and instead of dancing, like, he was our litmus test to see what songs were good and what songs were bad. He did this. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, no, everybody does this, man. Everybody does this. And I guess this was from 50 Cent's video. And he's like, you won't do it on TV. I said, what the hell do I got to lose? Are you going to fire me? Of course I'll do it on TV. <laughs> but instead of doing this, I did this. <laughs> and now for 15 years, <laughs> because of a dare, <laughs> I've been doing this. <laughs> and I'll do you one better people actually think I'm invisible. There will be people <laughs> to look at this couch and be like, why is there nobody next to McConaughey? You <laughs> said John Cena would be there, but we can't see him. <laughs> so, you, you never know. You remember Hacksaw Jim Duggins and King Kong Bunny yes. and Skandar yes. Akbars yeah. and Von Erickson. Care Von Erickson, Carry the Claw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got kicked this out of Hearst Coliseum. We're talking Texas wrestling. I get kicked yeah. out of Hearst Coliseum in Shreveport for pelting Skandar Akbar with a bag of tomatoes on the eighth row. Skandar Akbar was a man dressed as a sheik that used to throw fire. Yes. And he managed King Kong Bundy, who yes. was like 484 pounds. And remember the missing Leotard link from Singer. Parts Unknown? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Remember the green oh. face, Ooh. spit green mist? They sound really good. Good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's entertaining. It was so much fun. And, and I'm John Cena. <laughs> but he's got King this. Kong Bundy. Yes. 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 Okay. Hello. Hi, Ev. Hi, what's your name? My name's Sebastian. Sebastian? Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Newcastle. Newcastle, okay. Do you live there or here? Uh, I live in Newcastle, yeah. Okay. All right, off you go with the story, Sebastian. Well, uh, many moons ago, um, uh, I actually went to school in Newcastle, um, and there was a disco coming up. Uh, there was a really popular girl at school, um, the usual sort of scenario, all the, all the, you know, all the guys after her. Um, I sort of waited to the last moment, last couple of days, um, and asked a girl, one of this popular girl in question, if she'd like to go with me. She said yes. And this was literally, the, I think, the day before the disco. Um, uh, lo and behold, the, it turns out that she was actually going to go with somebody else. Um, and that other person was actually Charlie. Sebastian Lipiat! <laughs> That's the one, man. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very same, yes, you know who it is. Wow. You know, at the time... You look older than me. At the me. time, I was very old. Awesome. <laughs> We're the same, same age. age. <laughs> and did you end up marrying Rachel Gould? Uh, no, not yet, no. Not OK. <laughs> There's still time. Right, well, you, know, you know what happens to have a sword with you, do you? <laughs> uh, you, you, could, you could have revenge if you want to. Do you want to? There you go. <laughs> We thought we'd seen you play everything, but first, which? <laughs> Mostly bitches. But... <laughs> yes, my first witch. But you, I hear you went through a phase of you got offered a lot of witches. When I was 40, when I turned 40, I was offered three witches in one year. Oh. And it was sending me a signal, I felt, <laughs> about Hollywood and how they felt about people turning 40. <laughs> so I felt uh, bad, and, I, I, and it made me sort of... I had a, like a little, my backup, you know, and so no, I didn't want to play them. So <laughs> a lot's changed in the last five years for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. good, yeah. Mom. good. <laughs> oh. 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 You were right. <laughs> <laughs> nice smell. Nice smell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was looking I for an excuse all oh. night. Yeah. That was wow. so smooth, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth. It never works like that. <laughs> <laughs>